Well, this is a story about an encounter with a Mexican free-tailed bat, a species of bat common to North Florida. Both of these umbrellas you see here served as a temporary home for the bat. The umbrellas had been collapsed for days, allowing the bat to crawl inside the exterior folds of the umbrella he liked best. Well, I spotted him inside a fold as I started to raise the umbrella, but once I identified him, I gently lowered the umbrella with him tucked inside a fold as the sun was beginning to set. I expected he would be gone in the morning, and he was. But the following day, I opened the other umbrella on the north side that had remained collapsed, only to discover the bat, or another bat, has spent the night inside this umbrella. I captured a few still shots of him before I switched to video. And the camera captured the bat preparing to depart. He seemed interested in me, probably because the autofocus feature made a noise like a bug. I felt privileged to meet the animal, and as he exited, he said adios by flying into my hair as he departed into the woods near Lake Meta. And here it is again, slowed down by about five times. The University of Florida bat houses are home to the largest known colonies of Mexican free-tailed bats in the southeastern United States. The densest concentrations of free-tailed bats are found living in Bracken Cave near San Antonio, Texas. But the freezing polar vortex of 2021 killed millions of bats and other animals. Okay, here it is one last time. The bat flies into my hair on his way to Lake Meadow.